Hey, how's it going everybody? It's uh, Brett Robo here. There's a bunch of you that's been asking about how I stream and how I get the out of the overlays, the donations, the super chats, the subscribers, the live count, all the different things that I actually use for uh, live streaming. Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how, the basic, how to get the themes and how to start the live stream. So, when, um, right now I'm using the old OBS, not the slobs that we're going to use, which is Streamlabs OBS, Open Broadcasting Software. So, if you'd like to use it, I'll always have a link in the description of all of my live streams, and I'll have one below in this video. So, without further ado, here we go, we'll get started. Let me just get rid of my camera, that way we'll work our way in step by step. First things first, you're going to need to download Streamlabs OBS. In all of my live streams and inside of my description below is going to be a link to Slobs. You'll click that and download it. You can use it on your Apple, iPhone, your Androids, or on Windows. It's not a very large file to download. Just go ahead and download and install it. There's no plugins or make this your home page. You can click right through it. It's great. While you're doing this, go to your YouTube, click on your icon, and go to Creator Studio in the top right hand corner. Then you're going to want to click Live Streaming. Once you're here, you're going to either see an account verification or you're going to see all your stuff already laid out ready to go. So what you need to do is verify your account if you haven't done so, and if you have, you can proceed in the video to the next step. Once Slobs is done downloading, you can go ahead and get rid of the web page so it's out of your way. It'll ask you if you want to run it. You can go ahead and run it. Once you've downloaded and installed and opened the program, you're going to want to either log in with your Twitch account, YouTube, or your Mixer. For me, I'm a YouTuber, so I'll obviously go into YouTube and log into my account. And once you get onto the next page and logged in, you're going to need to allow access for Streamlabs to your YouTube account. Go ahead and do that. And it's going to pop up with a scene collection import. And if you don't have any, just go ahead and continue. Obviously, if it's your first time, you're not going to. Now once you've logged in, you're going to be into the main area. And now don't be afraid, it does look kind of freaky at first, but it's not that hard to understand. This will be your scenes, which is your intro, the starting soon screens, your live stream screen, which shows your face in the game, be right back screens, outros, things like that. It's not that hard to understand, it's pretty simple. Right here is your sources. This would be pictures you want shown, an internet, a bunch of pictures. This is what you're seeing like, what you're seeing right now is what I'm doing is a display capture. Game capture automatically tries to detect an EXE file that's running that's a game. Window capture is specifics, like if you were to open a browser page, you can use window capture the same way. Text GDI is what we use for live sub counts and things like that. We'll get into that in another video. Media sources is more like your files on your computer. You want to show a little video you have. Capture device is your webcam. Audio, you don't really have to mess with because we have all of it over here in this corner, which uh, you can see later on. Most of these right here are Twitch. So if you're using Twitch, all these work for you. If you're using uh, YouTube, these do not. We use stream labels to get everything to work for us. Over on this end of the corner, we have uh, the audio. If I hit this, you can see that my audio cuts out, but not while I'm recording now due to the fact that I'm using the old OBS to record this program right now. So if you were live streaming and you don't want them to hear you talking, you can just click that and they no longer hear you. This is what's coming off your computer. So this is the game audio. Without splitting anything up, this is just the game audio. You can mute the game audio only so they can only hear you basically. It's real handy, especially being able to slightly maneuver it like this so it's not ear piercing for the viewers. You can change it from day to night mode. Night mode's obviously cleaner. Studio mode here lets you do a transition. Now what a transition does is see if I put a... Okay, if you have this problem, here's a good problem to check out. 
you can see that I can't see anything down here and I can't hit the close drag this over and it'll uh, pop down for you and that's what I always do but all you gotta do is press done I can double click all that so this is what they would be seeing while you're live streaming so if you want to say put a video capture device on here I don't think you yeah you can't see it while I'm uh, using using it let's do a text Ba, ba, ba. we'll just leave it like that so here's the text right in the corner just like that so right now you can't see it you transition it over this is what everybody's saying so I want to put this text file over here you can put this on and click transition and it'll pop up over here for them but it doesn't until you put press transition Everything you put on this screen is not seen until it's pressed, transitioned into the live stream. The same way that media people would use on the news. Give it a few seconds to pop up. Obviously, you don't see it. You transition, bam, they see it. That's just how it works. But you can still mess with it, get the next scene ready before you transition over. It's very, very handy. You'll automatically put into a lot, be put into this live tab once you go live. Your chat will pop up right here, which we'll show later. And all the people that subscribe through Twitch and things like that will pop up here. YouTube is just now getting the integration into Streamlabs. So they're, they're starting to show up your subscriptions in here. If you have stream labels, it will. Live actions, you can spin the wheel for you know random winners and things like that, but it mainly is only working for Twitch at the moment. Credits, you can set up credits so they roll at the end. It's very, very simple. Your dashboard, if it'll pop up, is where it keeps all of your analytics, whether it's your donations, your members, subscriptions, all that. It's As you can see, YouTube's popping up on here. These have just now got integrated recently, and they're great. You just gotta get used to it. It looks scary at first, but it's not. All these are just extra little pieces to keep track of your analytics band owners, super chats, etc, etc. This is where the fun begins. So what you're going to want to do is go into themes. This is where all the cool stuff is. Now what you're going to do here is find whatever layout you want. I mean, because that's, that's it, right? That's what we do. So let's say I want one that's animated. Let me, get, let me, just, let me just click animated. Look, all these are animated. So let me just click this one. It's got the lines. Everything on here has an animation. So if you want to go back and go up here. That took me a while to find that go back to listings button. Uh, it really did. <laughs> so I like red. I like black. And I like animated. So it'll give you a broad scheme of themes that have been created by random people. And it may be from the creators of slobs. But these are always changing. Every day there's always something new coming up. So let's find one that's, I like this one. Let's go with this. It's animated. Nice. Okay. So what we're going to do is click install. That's probably the hardest thing you've had to do. Once it goes in, it'll take you straight into your editor with this, this screen, the scene, everything. This is all you had to do. You're almost ready. All you had to do was pick something you liked and you're almost done. Your stream starting's here, and this, if you were live right now, this is what would be showing. If I click this, this is what's showing. Obviously, you're not going to have that picture in the background, but say that's your game, and then your camera would be right here. That's how that works. This is your chat box, etc., etc. Intermission, most people will have their webcam right, right here, and their chat box over here, etc. Be right back screen, it's pretty cool, not going to lie. Ooh, cool. So in the live streams, all these boxes here, like this alert box is for Twitch. If they say give you a donation or a text to speech, something like that, make sure it's you're able to view it and it's overlaying everything else. So if I put the background all the way up here, it covers everything. It's just like Photoshop or fireworks, anything that has different layers. Everything is a overlay to the next thing. If you want to hide it, 
it's easy. You just press the visible eye. You get rid of it. You don't want it there, drag it out of the way. I mean, that's all you do. If you don't want to move it, you don't. You want to make sure you don't move it, which I very much recommend to lock everything. Once you're done, lock it. Because I don't know how many times I've done this and just barely inched it. and Or maybe just do that just a little and you don't notice it and you can't get it right back where you wanted it. Just make sure you lock it when you're done. If you want to remove it, you can just right click remove, not a problem. Add sources, you can just click the plus sign and open up this. I can open up my images here. Oops, yep. We'll go straight to, let's just find a picture. Put the Robo logo. Make it small. I'll even put it in the webcam up there. But obviously you can change this. If you right click and go into filters, you can press plus and there's all these options right here, whether it's to make the color look better or to zoom in. This is the crop, yes. So if I wanna do this, this is a little technical. You have to kinda of finesse it and kinda of take a little bit off each end to get it specific the way you want it. That way, like if you say, one like a 16 by nine, it's gonna take a little effort to work the kinks out to get that, but it's not a problem. Once you start getting the hang of what slobs is, you'll get into it and stream like it's nothing. So let's just move on to how to start the stream. Now let's say you've already got your webcam, which is a video capture device, add a new source, and mine's already here, but I'm recording right now so you can't see it. You'll click done, your camera will pop up, you'll fit it into the screen. You're done, you're almost ready. You want your game? We'll go game capture, game capture, done. Choose the game you want, specific window, and then you'll choose whichever window, which is the game you have open. For me, I'll open a quick game just so uh, it'll pop up. So you'll uh, choose capture specific window and then choose your game, which for me, I pressed Clone Hero. Open the game, go back to your slobs, make sure that it's behind everything. That way your webcam and everything's in front of it. Now you're almost ready. Now all we have to do is enter our stream key right here for us to be able to stream. Now to do this, you have to have your account verified, like I was talking about earlier, and be ready to stream. So you'll go to the top right icon, your name, your account, go to Creator Studio, go to Live Streaming, scroll all the way down. This right here is uh, the server, and this is the key. You'll wanna copy your key Put it in the stream key right here. You'll have to reveal it. And hide it and post it. And use the primary ingest server. If for some reason you're not able to stream at all, it's not letting you. Change, oops. Change your server to the backup ingest server. It'll take you to the secondary one. If all else fails, do a custom streaming server, go into your live, and copy that server URL. Go into that settings and paste it. Then reveal your key again, copy and paste it. Never show anyone your key. Next, go to your output. Make sure your bit rate's not over, really over 2000, honestly. YouTube only wants 1500. Check your encoder. If you have an AMD card, use QSV. If you have Nvidia, use NVENC. And if you don't have uh, any graphics card at all, use software, use it as the internal. I have an Nvidia GTX 1050, so I'm using NVENC. Audio is all fine. If you're wanting to record while you're playing, make sure that you uh, set the path where you're wanting it to go, because if not, you'll be looking forever for it. Everything else is pretty much set the same. 
I usually keep everything to 720 just due to YouTube's only going up to 1080. Always keep your FPS at 30 if you're streaming to YouTube. I'm not sure about Twitch, but YouTube always stay on 30. Hotkeys, you can change, it, change as you want. All, everything else, I left the same. No delays, nothing else. You can kind of look through it and see what you want. Uh, I recommend when you're done making everything the way you want it to export your overlay in scene collections. That way you have a backup of everything. But after that, once you have all this set up, you're done. You can just press done and press live. That's all you have to do. As soon as it does, it'll take you to the live screen. You'll pop up. Everything normal, normal. It'll pop up saying go live, all that. But that's just the easiest way to do it. Slavs is the quickest way to do it. Obviously, I can't go live because I'm using OBS at the moment. But that's how you get the basics into downloading, installing, and starting your live stream. Even if you're not wanting specifically all these webcams in it, you can just drag them out of the way and just play like any other game, you know? You don't have to have the webcam on it. It's locked. But that, I mean, it's just as simple as that. That's all you have to do. And then you just play just as normal. That's how you would do it on a PC or on mobile. So be sure to check out for more. We'll uh, have how to put in the live sub counts and the subscribers, recent donations, top donations, because they're all based through stream labels. So we'll have to do that in another video.